Hello, this is Matt Thomas with Kessler Ellis Products Infolink HMI team and we're just going to post a quick video on how to set up your mailbox prior to using the send email function. So what we're going to do from your Google Mail account or Yahoo Mail account is go to your settings and under the settings menu what you're going to get is forwarding and pop IMAP. We're going to select this and what we want to do is enable pop for all mail and we'll save those changes and we should be good to go. So once you're finished with the account settings um, simply just go back to Inflinks design mode and start a new project and what we want to do first is go to project properties and we can give our project a title here we'll call it email under the internet tab up here this is where we're going to find the fields to put in our account information so we'll put in our gmail account information and password here and we're going to enable sending email on alarm events and since we're using gmail we're going to send using gmail and in this case we're using the same account you can also set severity levels for alarms in this case we don't need to do that so we're going to hit ok so the next thing we need to do is create the memory tags and how we do that is under project tag groups so what we want to do is create a new memory tag group there are icons up here and this particular one is the memory tag group but if you right click in the white area of the screen here it will give you all of your options so we're going to create a new memory tag group and we're going to name it gmail and okay and then we're going to add some tags to it so we'll click on tag and the tags that we need to add um, there are four of them that are necessary there are two that are optional if you again click on the help files here I've just typed into the search sending email using and we'll list the topics so we'll just select this first one here and this is going to give me the information that I'm looking for so the memory tag group that I'm creating needs to contain these following tag names channel subject body mail to cc2 bcc2 so the only four that are really important are the first four channel subject body and mail to they are all string data types so make note of that and we'll just jump back out of here and create our tags so the first one is going to be mail to and the value here we're going to put the receiver's address which in this case again is influence test and this is going to be string type data and we'll hit OK and there's our tag we need to add the others now so we're going to do subject and we'll give the subject an alarm and okay and the next one will be body and we'll say that KDP is on fire and that is a string and okay and the last one that we need is channel and it just needs to reference gmail and that is string as well and we will hit ok and there are four tags so we can go ahead and close that and on our new project here we'll make the window a little bigger and we're just going to grab a button and we'll draw a quick button on here and give it some properties we'll call it send email <clears throat> and we'll add the animations so what we want to do is on the button down we'll take action and again the icons are here they don't have flyouts so if you click on the help files it will give you the icons descriptions so we're going to get back out of here we're going to use the take action we're going to take action on the button down and we're going to give it a command to send email 
is Gmail. And we can check that for errors. And we can see here that we have none, so we should be okay. And we can close this. And we can save the project and run. So while the project is running, if I click on the button, what I should see is a minimized email client screen come up, and it does, and it's showing one Gmail to be sent. And email was sent, and we'll go have a look in our mailbox, and there is our message. I hope the videos were helpful. If you have further questions, please give me a call at KEP. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.